Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the ICNA Da'wah Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Uh, Jazak, Jazak Lahir, sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we through this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make the dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have, they're already very aware of, uh, but for our audience, it's pretty simple. It's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem. Um, we let them know when to begin. It begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah. The second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference. So it's a very general theme. You know, they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about Islam in a time of confusion. You can talk about that way. You can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't. We just absolutely try and shy away from the role of judging of judging uh, but this time around we thought it would be better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts 
Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poets. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to unfortunately deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions, that you just uh, that all of them should be within that time frame um so without any further ado we will be introducing can i, add, yeah. can I add one yep. one couple of more things so um as for the three minute grace period um now with the i know that the performers they might get a little bit nervous um but don't worry about it just do the best that you can do if you go over you go over god willing you know that should be fine um and we will definitely um don't it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well sister asana all the way from india again subhanallah third poet from india um this is definitely uh, one of our international slams. Sister Asna, I do recognize you. Were you Are you one of our freedom writers? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, and your writing is very beautiful. Um, and I'll put the face to the words now. Alhamdulillah. Um, Sister Asna, please introduce yourself and uh, just keep in mind as well that, um, you know, uh, shout out to our um, family from India as well because it's actually Fajr time there and they made the effort to come here and um, that shows great commitment and we really appreciate that as well. Um, so Sister Asana, please introduce yourself and your poem and um, and, and the stage is yours. Jazakallah. I'm Asana Khan. Um, I'm pursuing psychology um, undergrad and um, I'll get straight to the poem because it's pretty long. My poem, um, it's about home and what it means to me and, well, I'll just start with the poem because you'll get to know, inshallah. Sure. 
I come back home to spaces that smell of petrichor as the sky lays down its armor. The fumes from a forest fire I cannot extinguish. I come back home to finally holding the particles of dust that dance beneath the sun between my fingers, to losing the lines that mark the palm of my hand as I close my fists before the moon. I come back home to days when I wake up with someone else's scars on my back, to nights where my own don't let me fall asleep. I come back home to living two lives, to realities under my name, to forgetting what either looked like. I come back home to tales of shattered hearts, to a world that's falling apart. I come back home to suns that have forgotten how to shine, to moons drenched in my people's blood. I come back home to you, while well, you haven't been home in months. And home, home has always been somewhere deep within me, yet too far away for me to reach. But sometimes on tired evenings, I stumble upon a light. It's the brightest that there is, yet soft on my eyes. And it's strange, but every single time I come back home to darkness, I find the light of the heavens and the earth waiting for my return. And he tells me it's okay. He tells me it's okay to have compasses that point north and yet not know where to go. He tells me it's okay to stand before the path I'm meant to take and be scared of the first step. He tells me it's okay to feel tired, to feel like life's too much. Then somewhere between slight death and sheer life, sometime before I open my eyes, he takes me to a dark, gloomy cave, enemies drawing clothes on two that are brave, and I hear a voice, do not grieve. Indeed, Allah is with us. Rasulullah said them says to his companion, and they are saved. To where I'm trapped, the sea before me, an army of my back, and I hear a voice again. Indeed, with me is my Lord. He will guide me. For Musa salam, the sea that split. To a fire kindled to kill. It grew and growled. The sky turned red, and before being thrown into the blazing bed, a voice says, Allah is sufficient for me, and he is the best disposer of affairs. For Ibrahim salam, the fire turned Syrian. To a father losing his child, he loses eyesight and grief, and the pain in his heart heavy, and his words of strong belief, beautiful patience. Yaqub was united with his father. To a young boy in an unfinished well where his brothers left him alone, and I saw him comfort the child. As he stood before the throne, Yusuf reunited with his father. But I am unworthy. I'm not the same as them, I tell my Lord in the end, with teary eyes and shaky breaths, my heart unwilling to mend. And he tells me something that makes me smile with tears now flowing out. But am I not the same? I'm near and I respond to the call of the caller whenever he calls upon me. Remember me and I will remember you. And Allah is with the patient. And when, my, when I opened my eyes that morning, I've never felt more at peace before, never felt more at home. Jazakallah. Jazakallah, hey sister. So, um, subhanAllah, I actually remember reading this poem. It was one of the first poems that I read as we went through the um, participants. And it was, it was actually, subhanAllah, one of my favorite poems. A very, very powerful, very beautiful poem as well. Um, very relevant to the fact that home is where the heart is and when the heart is at peace that's the greatest home that you're ever going to find in this dunya because everything else is truly fleeting and the only peace you ever truly find is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did I sum it really good or is, am I completely off? What <laughs> Kashmir? It was so beautiful and I Honestly, I feel like as judges this time around, I show we have such a difficult job. Um, SubhanAllah, it was very, um, it's almost something that I would imagine reading in a book. You know, it was a very narrative style, but you, you related so many of the prophetic stories that we hear about to the idea of belief and trusting in Allah as the best disposer of our affairs. And when I think about confusion and I think about the fitna that we go through, we feel at ease understanding that Allah is the best disposer of affairs, that we don't have to put all the burden on our back, as you mentioned in your poem, you know, 
we can mm-hmm. trust in Allah and he, he, he will take care of everything in a way that we as human beings would never be able to do justice to. So, uh, subhanAllah, um, mind-blowing poem. Jazakallah <laughs> um, for in that. Yeah, and Sister Asna, do you have an online um, uh, social media or anywhere that you upload your content to? Yes, um, I have Instagram. Kulsumatiz Khan is my username. Okay, perfect. So inshallah, we're going to get all of the Instagram handles for all of our poets and um, put it out on our Instagram. So if anyone is interested in following any of our poets, come to our page. If you haven't already, um, info, uh, dot the strangers. Oh, wait, that's our email address. Um, the strangers, um, the strangers all guys, is that correct on Instagram? Okay, Aisha is on mute right now, um, but I, yeah. <laughs> sorry, um, sorry about that. So um, it's probably easier and more accessible for everyone if they follow our website, which is thestrangerspoets.info. Um, and you will find everything there, social media links, upcoming events, if there are any past events, projects, etc. So, and we're gonna also be sharing on our social media the links to everyone's information who have partaken in this poetry slam. Actually gonna be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performance set. So, Jazakallah to everyone from the bottom of our heart, as the strangers, as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets, we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank Ikna for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add any? to that um yes subhanallah you know i did not expect um the schools to be so close together and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here winner there um my sister and i we do personally dislike it but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners. And I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message. And it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, I mean. I mean, okay. And with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website. And also, you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers and um yeah and alhamdulillah today we finished on time so uh jazakallah again for watching to all of our performers for ikna for hosting and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh